someone who addresses this in the courtroom, this is the second step. If we can get the victims through societies such as children at risk a safe place, it makes them available to us to help put these individuals, these persons that traffic, who we commonly refer to as pimps, in jail, in prison, and keep them from going back out on the streets and hurting these children further. In order to do this, Congress has given us several very victim-centered laws through the uh, Trafficking Act. We have laws that allow us to punish these individuals for great periods of time. If the child is under 14 years old, we can put this individual who has trafficked in this child in prison anywhere from 15 years to life. If the child is 14 to 18, it's 10 years to life. And if it happens to be that there are adults also trafficked with these children, we can do it for up to 20 years. If a child is transported across state lines this in, for the purpose of a commercial sex act, we can put them in prison for up to 30 years. An example of how we're accomplishing this is a recent case that was successfully prosecuted by myself and Special Assistant U.S. Attorney Angela Goodwin, United States versus Barry Davis. He was known on the street as Sir Lewis. The evidence showed that he, by way of showering a child with love, affection, and attention, something that she was not getting in her personal life and home life, enticed her and forced her into a world of prostitution, took her to Louisiana, forced her to prostitute there, forced her to prostitute here in Houston. She was physically abused, she was sexually abused, and a jury found this individual guilty of both trafficking in her and in an adult victim, and he is gonna be sentenced September 24th of this year. He faces up to life in prison. Currently, we have a pending prosecution uh, out of something called Operation Total Exposure. It is a six defendant case, uh, five pimps and a uh, adult female who traffic in children and adults. That case is currently pending trial and the press releases for both of those, um, if you want more details, are available on our website at www.justice.gov forward slash USAO forward slash TXF. But on behalf of the U.S. Attorney, please know that we are dedicated to helping these victims and that this safe house or several safe houses are so needed for domestic victims. And this is such a great initiative and such a wonderful thing that is going to make our job so much easier and our success rate so much higher if these girls know that they have somewhere to go other than back to another pimp who's going to just use them over and over and over again. So thank you very much and, and we look forward to prosecuting as many of these individuals as we can and keeping Houston safe for our children.